Hey, 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 mama. So we are here officially launching my first school curriculum. So this is a curriculum for one year old and it's gonna give you over 30 lesson plans that you can do at home. So if you have the workbook, um, it is an addition to. So the workbook is for those who don't have time, who don't have time to set up activities, you know, gluing and cutting and everything, and you just need something quick to, you know, practice on, you know, stuff that need, they need to learn when they're one year old. The curriculum is actually a more advanced, um, labor intensive activity, filled activity. So it gives you 30 lessons and I'm gonna show you. So each lesson, uh, and we'll go in a minute of what it's gonna be included. Each lesson works on language development, fine motor skills, gross motor skills, cognitive development, and sensory art. So the workbook only covers a piece of these because obviously fine motor skills are activities that you have to do with your hand. Gross motor skills are things to do with your arms, moving, jumping, and obviously the workbook doesn't work on that. And sensory art, usually you need paint and set up and things like that. So, you know, those will be included in here, but not in the workbook. So when you have extra time to work on different things, you know, this will be the place to go. So you can spend hours on Pinterest trying to look for activities on what to do. Uh, but for me, I like to be organized and to be like, okay, this year my baby needs to learn this. And then now somebody made a book of what activities I could do to kind of move that forward. Uh, so basically that's what the book is about. It's kind of taking those one year old milestones. Where are my milestones? Right here. Um, so this is everything that you should expect your baby to be working on. And some of this stuff obviously comes natural and some of the other stuff you should work on at home. And I created based on that a, an assessment sheet. So there's two pages of the assessment sheet and it tells you everything that you should be working on. So you have the animal sounds, which the workbook has, body parts, but this kind of brings it all together. It brings all the five senses into a fun, fun and interactive way to learn that. Um, so let me show you a little bit of what you can find on the book. So there's a lesson overview. So you're gonna, I divided it by units. Where are my units here? Um, so my units have the lesson plans and then the contents. So for example, you have unit number four. It's called, no, I don't wanna do, it's, that's routine. So you do bath time, night time, meal time, brushing your teeth. Uh, but let's like, for example, unit five, it's the farm animals. And we focus a lot on that during that first year. So we have the cow, the pig, the dog, the horse, the sheep, the hen. You get one week of activities for each of the animals. So for example, for the cow, you have, um, you know, easy finger puppets. And these are super easy to do. Like there's not a lot of labor intensive uh, things. So basically you get the finger puppet page and you cut it out and you tape the side so i just put i put tape just regular tape you make a little pocket and then you have your finger puppet and then over on the lesson plan is going to tell you exactly what to do you know with that finger puppet how are you going to be playing with that finger puppet so you get you know um you know different things that you can do with it it also for example it came with a, a i just bought a board book you can just staple the pages but you can make your own, own farm book. And what is good about this is that everything matches, right? It's the book matches, the finger puppet matches, you know, the, the activity sheet, it matches the workbook, flashcards that you have. So everything kind of comes together. Um, one of the cool things that I spend a lot of time doing to make sure that you guys were able to do this at home, it was create a calendar sheet so you can go by this or you can make your own but basically because you're getting like five you get five activities um each week you obviously are not gonna do them all five in a day or maybe you will but if you don't 
and you still want to kind of organize your day what i do because you know we're busy and we have to cook and we have other responsibilities i only just made i made two activities a day so i shared with you my calendar that i did so for example mondays i do language development and then the gross motor skill and then tuesday i do the fine motor skill and then cognitive development and then on Fridays, I put the fine motor skills, which is usually takes a little bit of setup sometimes, but you're gonna, you did it on Tuesday already, so it should be all ready. And then the sensory art, which also sometimes takes a little bit of setup because you have to take the paint out or you have to do, you know, shaving cream, so it's a little bit messy. And obviously, not everybody has the time to do that every single day. I don't, and I love to do messy and I love to do activities, but the reality is that we don't have the time sometimes to do it all. But if you do a little bit each day, then by the end of the week, you should be able to have completed your, um, your setup. And it tells you exactly what materials you need. I try to make it with materials that you have at home. Um, you know, some of these sensory art activities are simple where you just color, you print out. Uh, well, you don't have to print out because you're buying it, you know, uh, ready um, so it's it's a wonderful project like I had the, I had an initial uh, curriculum and then I, when I was finished I was almost ready to launch it I, I didn't feel they had everything it needed and now that man was older there's so much stuff that I did with him that I didn't include in that curriculum so I went back I started from scratch and I make sure that you guys had everything um, there's a whole section about colors. So the color activities are not even on, you know, the regular lesson plans because those you can just include every day, you know, as you please. You can do a color of the month. So then you do all the red activities that month or you can do it, you know, the, the color of the week. So you could do that. So there's, you know, a whole different activities that you can do and the color and the colors, the holidays, and the counting, um, there's a PDF that comes with it that I'm going to be sending to you because it has links to the tutorial. So, no, I did not create every single activity there, you know, out of my brain, my little creativity mind. I took what it was out there, and, uh, and if it was appropriate, I added it to the curriculum because we don't have to create the wheel. We don't have to. Somebody already did it. There's a sheet for, you know, all different colors. Um then you have counting activities so and with the counting you know there's a lot of uh interactive sheets that you can do um let me see what else we have you know these are like little flash bits that you can do these you can laminate this and you can play with the play-doh so you know a little play you know play-doh setup um you know the ship says ba and you can use all kinds of materials when you do that and it gives you a little you know it gives you ideas what to do you see like this is how the book that i made okay yes um so basically that's it that there's a holiday section um like there's six main holidays yes baby i'm gonna get it so you know holidays you have christmas you have the fall you have 4th of July, Valentine's Day, um, and you have one, two, three, four, five activities for each of them. So if that is something that you're interested in, um, the curriculum is basically everything you need. After that, if you wanna do more sensory stuff, you can always go to the blog, you can go to Pinterest and get more ideas, but if you wanna have like a track, like you know where you're going, you're gonna be working on those you know, one-year-old milestones, and you want to kind of have a plan and just give you the activity. Just tell me what to do. Basically, that's you know how I came into this world. You know, I went looking for someone to just tell me what to do, and I couldn't find it, so I made it. So if you're interested, it's called My First School, and it's available on print or on PDF. So you can do print or you can do PDF, and I'm gonna go because my little one uh, needs my assistance. So I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you pre-order it, thank you. I'm going to start shipping those copies now. Okay? I'll see you later. Bye-bye.